Hi guys! I'm finally here with my May favorites video. I know I am very late, but I have a good explanation actually. I filmed this video already, um, and when I went on to edit it, I realized that I have a piece of bean stuck between my teeth because I was eating a salad before I started to film, so now I have to refilm it and hopefully this turns out okay because otherwise my May favorites will have to become June favorites because I'm not filming this again. Uh, but yeah, I have four beauty and four random favorites to share with you today, so I'm just gonna start with the first one. Also, before I start with the video, um, how do you like my new filming background? I think it looks quite nice. The candle was supposed to be lit, but um, I don't have a lighter, so <laughs> I need to purchase it before I can make it look pretty, but um, yeah, I quite like the new background and let me know if you like it too. And also, please don't mind this to volcanoes on my chin. My hormones are freaking out again, I guess. I don't know, but I can't get rid of these two and I've tried everything and no amount of makeup can cover them. So yeah, it's really bad. But now I'm gonna move on to my favorites. As always, I'm gonna start with the beauty ones first. Uh, my first favorite is this glazed lip paint from LA Girl. And this one is in the shade called Tango. I do have another one. It's a nude shade, but I don't know how it's called. Uh, but yeah, I haven't used that one yet actually, so I can only talk about this one, but I really really like it I love the color. It's an intense coral and I think that that kind of shades are just perfect for the summertime Especially if you have a tan. It's described as super intense color and extra glossy finish and I would totally agree I like to call this kind of products a liquid lipstick because it is very intense um, but the formula is very liquidy, it's obviously not like the lipstick which are cream based products and it's also not like a lip gloss because lip glosses are more thick I would say and this one is like pure liquid almost. And on the packaging it says that it's super glossy but it doesn't have the same effect as lip glosses do because lip glosses are more like juicy and this one is more liquidy like it has that kind of a wet shine which I think looks amazing um, but yeah I really really like it um, it smells minty which I don't necessarily like but I know that a whole bunch of you like minty uh, products um, it doesn't sting though which is very important um, it just smells like mint and um, yeah it comes in this tube with a lip gloss like applicator which looks like this um, and I do apply it with this on like the middle of my lips, but then I take a lip brush and spray it out because a brush just gives me a better control when it comes to like lip corners and yeah. Um, but yeah, I love it. And now I'm gonna move on to the next product, which is also a lip product. It's Burberry Kisses lipstick in the shade number five. And this is how it looks like. Uh, yes, it is very tiny and this is not like a full size lipstick. It's just a sample, but um, this is how the shade looks like and I do really like it. It's very buttery and moisturizing but also very sheer. I'll describe the shade as like a sheer natural uh, peachy nude. I don't know why they called it nude pink because I don't see anything pink about it but um, yeah, it's a really nice shade and I do like the formula but I have to say I don't think I would buy a full size. Just because Burberry lipsticks are expensive and the formula is not that special. Like you can find similar formulas at the drugstore. I have some L'Oreal Caress lipsticks that are pretty much the same if you ask me. So um, yeah, if you don't have a lot of money, don't splurge it on this lipstick because even though it's nice, it's not that special. Next I have a nail polish and I've been literally wearing it for one month straight. I haven't been wearing any other nail polishes for the past month, that's how crazy I am about it. Uh, but yeah, it's this one. It's called In A Little Bit and it's from China Glaze. I just love the shade, I'm wearing it right now by the way. Oh and I'm also wearing the Burberry lipstick today. I might put on some more because I feel like it already rubbed off. Because like I said, it's very buttery and very sheer. Uh, but back to the nail polish, uh, this is the one I've been loving. I just love the color because it's that. I don't know, it's pastel first of all, which I love, especially for the springtime. And it's the perfect lilac shade. 
it's pink but has that really beautiful uh, purple undertone. Yeah, I just think it's very lovely and um, I loved wearing it. And my last favorite is a makeup sponge from Etude House. Uh, this is how the packaging looks like. I'm gonna take it out but I just wanted to show you because it's ridiculously cute. Um, but yeah, I haven't had a makeup sponge since I moved to England, which was in October. Um, and I'm glad to have it back in my life because applying my foundation with a beauty blender dupe <laughs> makes a really big difference to how the foundation looks like on my skin because I have dry skin and it just looks um, a lot more natural and doesn't cling to dry patches as much when I apply it with um, a beauty blender. Um, but yeah, like I said, I haven't tried the original version yet. I know I'm probably the only person in this world who hasn't tried one, but I don't know. I'm kind of okay with dupes right now, um, at least until I get a job and can purchase the expensive original one. Uh, but yeah, I like I said, I can't compare it to the original one, but I really like it. It looks like this. Um, and if I would have to compare it to another dupe, because I've tried quite a few of them already, I would say it is quite similar to the Real Techniques one. It's also quite dense and it doesn't soak up a lot of product. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. I just really like it and um, these were all my beauty favorites. And I'm gonna list all the websites where you can get these products that I mentioned down in the description box in case you're interested. But now let's move on to my random favorites. I have four and the first one is a podcast called Ear Biscuits. Um, I just got into podcasts. I've never really listened to them, but I'm that kind of person that always needs to do at least two things at the same time and I get really nervous if I just stand and do nothing while, I don't know, I'm cooking or something and um, if I can't really focus on watching a YouTube video while I'm doing something, I like to put on like a background noise and podcasts are the way to go, apparently, I realized. Um, because yeah, I can listen to something, but I don't have to watch it. The Ear Biscuits is the first podcast that I got into, I guess. It is actually a little like interview show hosted by two YouTubers. I think they're called Rat and Link. I'm not too familiar with them, but apparently they're quite big on YouTube. So um, yeah, but they actually host the show and they invite other YouTubers on the show and they interview them and talk about um, the life before their YouTube journey, I guess, which to me is very interesting because I've always been interested in hearing people's life stories. I don't know, maybe that's why I like drama so much and uh, why I loved Oprah when I was growing up. Uh, but yeah, I really like listening to people's life stories. And YouTubers have some really interesting ones. Uh, yeah, like I said, they talk about life before YouTube. You know, how it was growing up and what they did before they discovered this internet phenomenon. Some of them have amazing stories uh, that they don't really share with their audience. So um, you learn a lot of new things about them. And yeah, I really enjoy that. I don't really know any other podcasts. So if you're into podcasts as well, please um, give me some suggestions below because I would love to explore that area some more. I just don't know where to start. So yeah, if you have any recommendations, I'm not too picky about the topics or the style of podcasts, um, just leave them in the comments below. Last but not least, movies. I have three to talk about this month. The first one is The Imitation Game and 99% of you have probably already seen it. Uh, but yeah, I was quite late on the bandwagon this time and I watched it like about a month ago. Um, I didn't expect to like it as much as I did because the storyline sounded kind of boring. You know, it's about a mathematician who um, tries to solve the Enigma code during the Second World War. Um, but it's not boring at all. Like I really, really enjoyed watching it and I'm sure you would too. So I definitely recommend it to you. And then the second movie that I also really liked, and it's also like a drama slash autobiography kind of thing. Um, it's Whiplash. I already mentioned it in one of my vlogs and oh my God, that movie is so intense. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time and I experienced every emotion possible, but I really, really, really enjoyed it. And it's about um, uh, like a talented young drummer whose instructor is kind of trying to turn him into the best drummer in the world, but goes a little too far. Like I said, the plot might not sound that interesting, but it's 
a great movie like the acting I think is amazing and um, the main actor is Miles hmm, Teller that's what it is Miles Teller and um, he actually also plays um, in the third movie that I want to talk about today it's called The Two Night Stand and it's completely different from the previous two. It's like a romantic comedy and just a lovely movie to watch on a Friday night when you don't want to think about anything. It's about these two people who have a one night stand and because there's a blizzard outside they get locked inside the building and they have to spend two days together. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. <laughs> and that's also the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. And have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!